Now, is there a role for allopurinol? And I will say, yes, there's a role for allopurinol. I usually don't use it that much. I have a couple of patients that I've inherited. Um, remember that uh, when you give allopurinol, it's a, it's a xanthine oxidase inhibitor. So what you're doing is that you're preferentially shunting uh, away from the 6-MMP to 6-TGN. And so what you can do is you can really get super high doses uh, of 6-TGN. So, but in this study, it does show that what happens is that if you have a patient who is, has abnormal liver function tests and does not have a therapeutic 6-TGN level, that by adding allopurinol, you have to reduce the dose of, of, uh, of um, azathioprine, that you can actually see that pre-allopurinol, the 6-TGN levels go from below the, the 240 to the 400, and the 6-MMP, which is a toxic liver metabolite, essentially gets reduced tremendously. So this was a small study, retrospective. Six patients developed leukopenia, and the majority of those patients already, you know, they went on to surgery and anti-TNF. So this is like a nice trick, but I would say that it would be very selective, and everybody should have zero to zero patients on allopurinol in their practice. Even though I'm, I'm sure people have used it very successfully, but it's, it's more of a trick rather than something that I would say in, in 2016 is a, as a standard treatment.